As the Second World War entered its final stages, the Allied army started gaining ground deeper into German-occupied territory. The further they advanced, the sheer scale and level of German atrocities became apparent. They came across camps of varying sizes, filled with sick, starving, dead and dying people, camps that many liberators described as the stuff of nightmares. In July 1944, the Soviet army came across the abandoned Maginek concentration camp. The majority of its prisoners already had been herded off on a death march away from the advancing Soviet troops. Maginek was hastily burnt in an attempt to mask its presence as the Germans retreated from the area. But the remains of some buildings and gas chambers and their crimes were very much evident. This was the first major concentration camp discovered by the Allied forces during the war, and sadly, it was not the last. As the Allied advanced further into occupied Europe, the Germans attempted to cover up their horrific crimes. They forcibly marched prisoners hundreds of miles in often vicious winter weather with no food, protection or medical care. They burnt the camps and millions of documentation. Over the course of these awful death marches, sometimes lasting weeks at a time, thousands of people died from cold or hunger or were shot because they were simply too ill to keep up. One of the most brutal camp evacuations was the death march from Auschwitz in January 1945 where some 15,000 prisoners died during the march. On January the 27th, 1945, Soviet troops discovered Auschwitz camp, the largest of these German death camps. It was a brutal factory of death, designed to hold and dispose of hundreds of thousands of innocent people. When the Soviets entered, however, the vast number of prisoners had been marched away, and only a few thousand sick people remained in the mostly destroyed ruins of the camp. Survivors who were moved from camps close to the front were sent westwards to Bergen-Belsen, Buchenwald, Matterhausen and Ravensbrück, or one of the many sub-camps. The massive overcrowding in these camps hastened the spread of deadly disease and caused many more deaths from typhus and other diseases. Bergen-Belsen was liberated by British forces on the 15th of April 1945. It has become infamous post-war for being the camp in which Anne Frank and her sister Margot died in. It had become a massively overcrowded camp after the arrival of survivors from the death marches from the east. Thousands of unburied bodies lay strewn around the camp, while in the barracks, some 60,000 starving and fatally ill people were packed together in horrendous conditions without food, water or medical care. A scene which nearly every Allied soldier witnessed, no matter what size or scale of camp they arrived at. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Supreme Allied Commander, visited concentration camps for himself. He said this, I visited every nook and cranny of the camp because I felt it was my duty to be in a position from then on to testify at first hand about these things in case they ever grew up at home the belief or assumption that the stories of Nazi brutality was just propaganda. Sadly, we are once again seeing a rise in anti-Semitism and denial of the Holocaust on social media and even now in the mainstream media. It's important to keep the information and memory of these victims alive. Over six million innocent people died due to the Nazi regime. We mustn't forget the innocent men, women and children who died.